Hey guys, this is JH Tech Guy here, and today I will be showing you how you can record your computer screen using Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. And this not only records your computer screen, but also audio if you have a microphone and you plug that that in. And this, you can use this to record yourself playing a video game, making an instru instructional video like I am, or just to record your computer screen. But so, to get started, we will download this and we will go to this website and the link will be in the description and click start download. And you can either run it or save it, either one does not matter. And it is very simple to download, I've already downloaded it so it's no point in downloading it again. But so it's very simple to download and you simply just need to follow the instructions. But if it asks you to put in a product key, just say, just skip that part as it like and it'll still work fine but it will be limited to 10 minutes to 10 minute downloads but you could always just have 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes and edit them together if you if need be so after we've downloaded it we'll go to all programs and look for Microsoft Expression right there and this ha it has two parts the encoder like screen recorder and the actual encoder Will, which will make it playable like on your computer. So I'd recommend dragging these out onto your desktop so it's easier to reach them. But so we'll start up Expression Encoder and you can click your mic if you have a microphone pressed in and this will give you audio. You can have your settings which you can configure on stuff like that. And then to start we'll press record and it will give you what dimensions you want to record it and then or you can have actual dimensions that they have or you can just have a custom so we'll click record and then it has where you are recording in and you will see my mouse moving around and to stop this you can press control shift F12 or just click the stop button and now that it is recorded, we will need to send this to enco into encoder, or if you do not like this, you can delete it. And you can do a little bit of editing in encoder, but I recommend you edit in a different source as it will probably be easier. But simply just click encode down there, and it will be running. And since it is such a small file, it will be easy to encode and it will be quick. So now we will delete this, but if you want to keep it just in case you can. And on your desktop, a folder will come up, and you can see that this was recorded. So it worked well, and now you can post this to YouTube, share on a social network, and whatnot. But it's really easy. If you have any questions about the installation, or any questions in general, just send me like a PM or comment on this. But yeah, it's pretty. It's really easy, guys, and it'll come in handy. And it's better than recording with the camera, as this will look nice and crisp. But yeah, if you have any questions, or again, just send me a PM or comment on this, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, guys.